Hey guys, welcome back to Jason and Joni Builds. We're back in the shop today on our 66 Bronco project. We're going to add some LED light uh, to our front and rear bumpers. So you guys stick around. Here we go. All right, what I'd like to do today, guys, is kind of get my bumpers finished up. I know we've been on bumpers a lot lately, but uh, since I've been doing lots of grinding, welding, I need to get them cleaned up, get them prepped and reprimed. And so I just hate to do that and have to do it again just because I want to install lights later. So this will go ahead and get something checked off my list and be able to show you guys something else. Right, so what I would like to do is install this slimline uh, LED light I got off eBay. They're, they're not a real expensive brand. Uh, I'm not going to be using it all the time, so you can spend anywhere from $40 to $200 on these lights. But anyways, it's a, it's a 1 inch by 20 inch light and it'll fit perfectly on this flat edge of, the, of our Tom's Bronco bumper. So, and then it, it comes with its own mounts and we'll get it uh, placed after we get the hole cut out. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in four corners and I'm going to use a half inch bit. So basically what the half inch bit does is it gives me a, a really nice radius on both sides. So it, it won't look like I've just cut it out with a saw. It'll look like it was cut in there maybe with a laser or with a machine. So give it a finished look. So this will be the first one we put in, and then secondly, on our rear bumper, we're going to install backup lights in the bumper, sort of the same way. We're going to going to cut them out, and, and it basically frenches into the bumper, so it nice it sets flush. This will be a real nice addition to the bumper and to a '66 Bronco that didn't originally have backup lights, anyways. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and get started. We'll get this thing drilled out and cut. And if you haven't, uh, y'all subscribe, please. And uh, that helps us out. Give us a thumbs up. All right, let's do this, Johnny. And I don't know if you guys can see this. I've got some pencil marks on it. But it's basically a one inch. It'll be a one inch slot with, you know, radius on the corners, 20 inches long. And what I did is I found the center of this flat area of the bumper. This is three inches wide. So it's just basically an inch and a half down and then got it all square, found my center. Just, just wanted to show you how I got started. And then these are, this is where my half inch drill holes will be. Quarter inch in, quarter inch up, all the way around four corners. So I'll start with a pilot bit, then we'll drill it out with a half inch all the way around. I drilled my pilot holes a quarter inch and now I'm going to go to a half inch and go ahead and get it drilled out and this will be the final hole then we'll start making our cut. Alright so here's the holes drilled and now we'll pull out the grinder and we'll start making our cut along the bumper. Alright guys, <laughs> about 20 minutes and four cutting blades later, I've got it cut out and I kind of just did a, a light sand over the top, try to bring the edge down so it's not sharp, so now it's, it won't cut you. 
I still have to do a little bit of filing on the edges, but uh, I just didn't want to bore you guys with all that detail. But as far as my cuts, my cuts are really straight. I'm, I'm proud of that. I'll grind them down a little bit on the inside. So I want to go ahead and get this light mounted real quick so we can see how that looks before I call it a day. <laughs> all right, so again, our LED, what we want to do is I was looking at th these brackets that it comes with. It comes with two different brackets. I really don't want to see holes, you know, or mounting bolts through the bumper. So what I'm going to do, I've, I've already kind of laid this in here before and picked out where I want it. So what I'm going to do is tack weld these bolts to the inside of the bumper. Then I can put a bolt underneath it and then I, I can actually jack it up and down, level it out exactly where I want it, get it all tightened up and then you don't see any of the fasteners. So, so that's how I'm doing this one. You know, you, if you choose to drill all the way through, that's fine. I just, um, that's not what I want to do for this one. All right, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and I've already got my holes marked. I'm going to scratch a line up in front of it and uh, sand it a little bit so I have something to weld to. So this is my hole. There. And I'm putting a hole there because when this, I've already looked, when I set that bolt in against that radius, it'll just weld right on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand this area. All right, I've got my jam, well, I've got my bolts welded in for the support. I'm gonna run my jam nuts down so we can go ahead and test fit that I like. I'm putting these in backwards, I know, but uh, I didn't have any without the nylon lock nut, but uh, they'll work for what I'm doing at the moment. Alright, so here's the, here's the light in in the front of the bumper. I, I like it. it. It looks real good. Uh, what do you think, Johnny? I like it. It's going to be pretty. You know, once it's all painted and yeah, I think it looks sharp. All the, <laughs> the scuffs that I I put in it, but uh, we'll stick it back up on the Bronco here in a little bit and put a battery to it just to uh, get a little effect. All right, guys, we're going to get our backup lights installed. Uh, I didn't get finished the other night, as you can tell. I'm in a different shirt, a little scruffy. But uh, anyways, uh, we're just going to try to get this finished out today. So we're just going to go ahead and get started drilling our holes and then we'll start cutting, cutting the holes into the, the bumper. And like we did before, I'm just going to step up, get my pilot holes drilled, then we'll step up to a larger size. This is about 5 sixteenths. And uh, until I get to the radius I want and we'll start cutting it. Should just be able to take my hammer and, and knock that in, and then I'll I'll grind it smooth. cut and now we can set our our light in and we can mark our our hole just want to make sure that it's square square to the top because there's actually a taper on the bottom of the bumper mark the hole and we'll drill it and 
get these lights installed. Okay, so again, these these LED lights, you know, they're real nice, aluminum housing, and then they have this, feels like a, a silicone gasket, just to kind of protect it, in, unless, you, I guess in the event that you're trying to keep something watertight back here, I don't really think it matters, but we'll use them. I want to show you guys what these things look like. They are bright. They are, this is daylight, middle of the day light, bright. <laughs> so, they look really good. Yeah, that'll, that'll definitely be nice when you're out at night and need to see where you're going. But I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. I just wanted to finish up these bumpers so I can go ahead and start prepping them for paint. Uh, I need to go ahead and sand them again, prime them one more time and I can block them out, make sure I get all the scratches and stuff that I've done to them. But uh, anyways, uh, another big step towards getting this Bronco finished. And uh, if you want to add some LED lights to yours, uh, these were relatively inexpensive. So, but thanks. You guys have a great day and uh, see you next time. Take care.